Hello everyone, welcome to Pip Coding. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to see about the keyword of insert. Without any delay, we can move on to the topic. Okay. The keyword is insert. Insert is one of the very important command, okay? In this command, we are going to insert the values in the given particular table, okay? First, the syntax of insert is syntax is insert into table name and then values. In the values, we are going to give the data. This is the syntax of insert. Okay, I will explain with one example, then it will be easy to understand, right? We have two tables. The table number one, this table will be employee. Okay, and then this table is department. Okay, we are going to insert into the table name. Table name is employee. Values. I'm going to give the values. The values will be like name, right? First one is name. The second one is, um, okay, that will be H, okay? And then the third one will be last name. Last name will be Z. Then, SSN. SSN, we are going to give some num value. Okay. Then we are having B date that, uh, that is uh, 2021 some part. Okay. Then the next one is address. We are going to give the address. Then the next one is sex. It may be a female. Then next one is salary. The salary will be 50,000 or something. Okay. Then SSN, for SSN we are going to, we need to give the numbers, right, 7, 3, 7, 8, 5, 6, 0. Then the department number will be 4, okay. Then it will insert one tuple in this table. It will insert one tuple in this table. We give all those, these values. Then it is going to insert all these values in this particular tuple. Okay, this is the first type of insert. Okay, then we can do the insertion. Okay, like insert. Okay, insert into employee. We are going to do, do this with employee. E. Okay, we can make it as the, the table as employee. E. Then we are just going to change that first name, last name, SSN, that's it, okay? We are going to change these values only. For this, we need to give the values, first name as A, the second name as C, and the last name as C, and the SSN as like, uh, somewhat if it is okay this is my assistant we are going to give the values we are going to insert just three attributes in a tuple okay for then what will be the remaining values we are going to insert one tuple right then for in last name we have some values right for first name we have values for last name we have values for assistant we have values so in the another attributes, it is going to fill the values null, okay? For another, it is going to fill the values null. For all other values will be null, okay? This will be the second type of insertion. We can insert the particular uh, values of the attributes, but with the help of insert command, we can only insert and tuples in that particular time, the remaining attributes that are, we are not given some attributes, right? Those attributes will be considered by null, by TBMS itself, right? This is one type of insertion method. Then the third one will be 
insert employee e dot first name e dot last name okay then values will be a and h okay do you think it will consider that e first it is going to give the first name as a and the last name as h then the other attributes will be false right no it will not happen in this case okay in this case we are going to get error because the dbms is going to reject our command why it is rejecting our command i will tell you why it is rejecting our command because while inserting the other attribute into this okay while inserting the other attribute that is the first name as a right the last name at h then yeah, in this ssn we are going to have the null values right but in this table the ssn is our primary key SS, ssn is our primary key we know that our primary key should not be null right our primary key should not be null so this condition is going to reject us we can include the particular attributes but we should give our primary key into that okay this will be our third type of insertion okay this will be our third type of insertion then fourth type of insertion will be first i will explain this one then we can move to it see if we are inserting first name okay first name last name and the d number in the d number we are going to provide the value as we are going to provide the value uh, value as 3 right but in it this is my parent table the okay it this two will be going to act as an act as an it will be act as an primary key then it will be going to act as an foreign key so here there is a no department number 3 right in this case also the dbms is going to reject my query we should give what are the d number present in this because this d number it may be a foreign key for an another table okay then it will affects our dependencies right so we can't change these foreign keys okay so this is also the we need to consider while we are inserting we can insert the whole tuple we can insert the particular attributes in this tuple the remaining attributes will be considered as null while doing this we should give the primary key and we should not change the foreign keys right this is all about insert insertion okay i hope you all understood about the insert command how to insert your particular tuple in a given duration thank you for watching